Uh, so we don't know what's going to happen. Air Asia, we just found out, is checking luggage right there before you go through security. So I don't know now. And that's how you iron a shirt while you're traveling. Today we're actually on our way to Taiwan, uh, so we got a flight to catch, so we're just busy packing up right now. Along the way we also wanted to maybe give you guys a couple of things that we learned, kind of like what we did for Singapore. We got I think a, a train and then a bus and then the flight. So we'll show you guys how to get from KL Central to the airport as well, and then give you guys some tips along the way. So off we go. So there are three different ways that you can actually get to, uh, from KL to the airport. The first way is you can take a grab, that's the most expensive. The second way is you can take a train, that's KLIA uh, Transit. Or thirdly, you can take a bus. We're taking the train from where we're situated to KL Central and taking a bus from there. We booked our tickets on easybook.com. We only paid, I think it was 12 ringgit instead of 15. There was a promo running. And now we're just waiting for our bus. We're on the bus. It's going to take an hour from here to get to the airport. The bus was amazing. It was so comfortable, so spacious, and not that cold. <laughs> but now we have made it to Terminal 2. Terminal 2 is normally where you'd find more of the budget airlines, uh, such as Asia Air, and that's what we're getting on. Otherwise, if you're taking like the Malaysian Airlines or you're flying what seemed like more domestic that's in terminal one the main terminal sandra's just gone to check in uh, by the counter uh, because they need to check to see if she's got a visa to get into taiwan luckily i don't have to go with so i'm just waiting for her now i think she'll be quick because there's no one in the line they told me i don't need it but i still need it uh... i just confirmed with my leader just now okay yeah. okay so i'll have to book one okay, okay. okay. thank you so we just checked in but we just found out that Taiwan is really, really strict. And she's now saying we also need an exit flight out of Taiwan before she can give us our boarding passes. So now we need to go look for new tickets. So we just bought a dummy ticket and a dummy ticket just basically means there's a company out there that reserves tickets for you online in case of situations like this. Uh, or also mainly people use it because they, when you get a visa, you need a return ticket. But most people don't buy their tickets because you're not sure if the visa will come through and if you get a return ticket, and the visa doesn't come down then you just wasted a whole flight ticket so that's why people use these services we have never used it before so we are not sure how it actually works we just know that once you pay you need to wait 10 to 60 minutes and it costed us ten dollars for that service so hopefully it is legit so we just got the dummy ticket it literally took 15 to 20 minutes to get it so it was really fast and tam's just gone to check in to get our boarding passes tam's has just made it back and she's happy <laughs> It was really simple. Actually, I found out I didn't even need it because we already had our digital boarding pass. But the lady just wanted to double check because I don't need it on this side. But apparently I need it when I land in Taiwan for immigration to enter the country. I uh, googled online and that was correct. So let's just actually see if they check it on that side because not everywhere does. We're now on our way to cross over to the other side mm -hmm. because uh, we're not sure how long the security will take. I mean, if there's a lot of people, which there is a lot of people here today, mm -hmm. we might not actually make it in time. So we're going to just go there earlier just in case. We'll give you guys a second tip uh, while we're on our way. We were on our way to, to pass security, but you know me, I got distracted and I saw some great food. So we're quickly going to dig in before we run that side. So we're going to make it a quick meal. You good? Mmm. The chicken's very good. The rice is good. The chicken's better. Mm -hmm. We're just finished eating and if you guys are wondering how much it costed us or if the price here is more expensive, it is a lot more expensive in the airport. So it's about 30% to 50% more expensive. If you guys want, you can bring your own snacks here. All you guys can eat here. It wasn't, I mean, the meal wasn't that expensive. It was 12 to 13 uh, ringgits. So I would say, the, and the portion was quite big. So we're now on our way. To the security. Uh, so we don't know what's going to happen. Air Asia, we just found out, is checking luggage right there before you go through security. So I don't know now. We've just made it through. Air Asia, they only checked everyone that had rolly bags. With us, with our carry-on bags, they just said you can cut through, and we went off to security. And then it was the weirdest security ever. They didn't ask us to take out our, our laptops, our liquids. And anything we were holding, like our cameras in our hands, we just walked through with that and just pushed our bags through the rolling machine. And then we're done. 
Best airport security ever. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. There was a second security we had to go through, and that's where we had to disrobe and take out everything. So they do do it correctly here. Yeah. So tip number three is food. Basically, if you guys are looking for local food or how much food actually is, if you guys are going through to Jalan Alua or any of the markets where you read read about on the blogs, uh, those are all tourist prices. Um, so it's a lot more expensive, and that's the reason why in our other vlog we said that we felt like the prices were the same in Singapore. But um, I think yesterday or the day before, we actually walked around our area, which is by Masjid Station. And around that area and Chowkit, you'll be able to find all the local food, which is actually really cheap. It gets up to around 10 ringgit. 10 ringgit, but that's for like quite a big portion. So if you guys are looking for good local food, that's where you should be shopping. Wrong, Tan. When you tell ya, you got squashed in my bag. Still tastes the same. No. Okay, come. We're going now. Okay. Taiwan, here we come. We're on the flight, and uh, Sam's is super excited, or I'm also super excited to go back to Taiwan. It's been ever. Like 10 years, so basically 20, 2010 World Cup, Soccer World Cup, since we've been back. I think that was even our first trip together internationally. So it actually brings back some really good memories. So we're hoping it won't let us down. I'm, Very sure, unlikely. I'm sure it won't from what we remember. Sam, I'm really hungry. I thought it was squashed, but it's clean one piece. I'm so excited. We made it to Taiwan! You first have to head off into immigration. Nick's got a Taiwan passport, so he's going to be quick, quick. But I have to wait in the long queue. So the first thing we needed to do was get these travel cards. Which one do you want? Mmm, oh yeah. Okay, I'll take this one. You take that one. Oh. Or you want this one? Mmm. Because apparently, if you get these travel cards, each trip is 10% cheaper or 15% cheaper. And since we're going to be in Taiwan for quite a while, we thought we'll get one. You could also use these travel cards to buy food at the family mart, so it is quite convenient. And uh, each card is about is 100 NT, and then you can top it up. So 100 NT, it's non-refundable. So it's not as good as the other countries, but I guess it's not that expensive either. So we're now on our way to the MRT. And not just that, is that you can only top them up with cash. Please hold the handrail tightly. If you guys are exchanging money, we don't think we got a good exchange rate at the airport, but we needed money to get onto the train anyways. They do charge an admin fee, which we haven't actually been charged like that in any other country that we've been to, so just bear that in mind if you guys do go to the exchange here in the airport. We are on our way to our first attraction, and that's the Dome of Lights. for like 20 minutes and we've already come across our first attraction. It is Formosa Boulevard Station and it is this mesmerizing glass stained masterpiece of above me. It is made out of 4,500 different glass stained pieces and it was done by an Italian designer. 
Time's just taking us to our hotel now. Off we go. We've just made it to our hotel. We just wanted to end off this vlog by giving you guys one last tip. If you guys are going through to Malaysia, make sure you guys take cash. Um, I guess if you guys are going to Asia in general, just take cash. Because it seems like they're still heavily reliant on cash. We might have a travel day tomorrow, we might not. We're planning to either go to Kanding, which is about two hours from here. Or we're planning to stay here in Kaohsiung and explore. But we're not sure, we'll plan it. And we'll let you guys know once we wake up tomorrow.